You know what? I think I've heard enough bullshit on fucking parents that ain't even fucking funny. If you're one of them fucking weekend fucking warrior fucking parents, mom or dad, I don't give a fuck. If you're one of them fucking people that don't take care of your kids 24 fucking 7, 365 of the fucking whole fucking year, my advice to you is just shut the fuck up. Don't fucking bitch about nothing. Don't don't whine and cry. Don't do anything but change your own little fucking diaper. Because I'm fucking telling you. I'm a dad. I'm also a stepdad. I take care of both them boys. And this ain't even about my kids. This is about all you all motherfuckers kids. Who don't fucking take care of them. And then, oh my god. Oh my god, one time a month you bought some fucking diapers and you're dad or mom of the year now. Mm, my fucking god. Well, when you start providing for your kids 24-7, 365, you're the one paying daycare. You're the one taking them to daycare. You're the one taking them to school. You're the one picking them up from school. You're the one leaving work early because your kid's throwing up at school and you got to miss a little bit of fucking work. You're the one doing a clothes shopping. You're the one doing majority of the Christmas shopping and all that shit. <clears throat> um, you know, it, until then, shut the fuck up. You know, I got to deal with this bullshit with my stepson's dad. He's father of the fucking year twice a fucking month for two fucking days out of a whole fucking weekend. Not even. Now he gets them Friday night. And brings him back Sunday night. So, well, maybe two fucking days. I got I don't fucking know. But anyway, half the fucking time he doesn't even fucking show up. Or he's late. Or this or that. Motherfucker. Step it the fuck up. You fucking people. And it really ain't even about him either. I just threw him in there. Threw his ass under the fucking bus too. Why not? But... It all boils down to if you're not the fucking parent doing all the fucking work, your opinion don't fucking matter. I'm sorry, but it fucking don't fucking matter. You can preach and preach and preach all you fucking want to, but you're the motherfucking one that decided to step the fuck out of your fucking kid's life. You're the motherfucker that decided to go fucking cheat on your other half. You're the motherfucker that can't get keep your fucking dick or your fucking vagina in your fucking pants. You're the motherfucker that did all that. I'm sure the other one is just as fucking guilty in some cases. Not all, but some. A lot of cases. You motherfuckers. Most of you motherfuckers should just stay together and just be fucking swingers or something. Everybody fucking be cheating on each other like fucking cockroaches on bologna sandwiches around this motherfucking parts. <sighs> I just don't know what to say. I'm all the time seeing shit on Facebook about my kid's dad won't do this. My kid's dad won't do that. My kid's mom won't do this. My kid's mom won't do that. Well, here I am. I'm not a judge and I don't for, uh, force the laws upon anybody. But I'm going to fucking tell you and I'm going to fucking tell you this now. If you ain't the motherfucker that's taking care of your motherfucking kid 20 fucking Four hours a day, seven days a fucking week, 365 fucking days a year. If you're not the one going to fucking work to provide for them, and you're not the one that is transporting them to and fro school and daycare, and if you're not the one doing all that, your opinion ain't shit. Your opinion don't matter. At least it don't fucking matter to me. And I'm going to tell you, you single fucking moms and you single fucking dads, if you're going to let the other X half try to run your life, well, you know what? <laughs> That's on you. I don't want to hear you fucking whining on Facebook if you're going to let it fucking happen. I'm sorry. I'm a dick, and I don't care. I say it how it is. My mouth got no filter. I'm out of coffee filters. Fuck, I'm even out of coffee. No filter, motherfucker. Any fucking way, I tell it how the fuck is. If you're not that person doing all that, shut the fuck up. Your opinion don't fucking matter. It it doesn't matter. 
Okay? Until you step the fuck up. That minute you stepped out of your kid's life permanently, that's the minute that your opinion no longer fucking matters. And if you're not married to that person, it really doesn't fucking matter. So, you know what? And if you are married and you're living separate, it still don't fucking matter. I'm sorry, but it fucking don't. Unless you're the one doing all the work and paying all the fucking money. Mm, no. And another thing, if you're not living with your kids and you're not fucking paying child support, <laughs> it definitely don't fucking matter, motherfucker. And... For the mother or the father, whoever has the kid permanently, does the custody thing, does all the shit. If you're not taking the other half for child support, shame on you. Because that's what it's for. Child support. Fuck. We're not even going to get on that subject with me. Because that subject just kind of pisses me off. I don't want to butt hurt nobody, but... That subject pisses me off. But it is what it is. But if you ain't paying child support and you ain't living under the same fucking roof as your kids, take your fucking happy ass down there to the child support office and say, Hi, Mr. Child Support, sir. Hi, Mrs. Child Support lady. I feel that I have kids and I should be taking fucking care of them. And, um... I would like to pay some child support, <laughs> said no man ever. So, or woman for that matter. So, for the man and the women that have the fucking kids, pick up the goddamn phone, dial the child support agency's number, give them a little information, they'll do everything for you. Get that damn child support so you can take care of your damn kids. You shouldn't have to be doing it all by yourself. If that motherfucker... If that motherfucker guy or woman doesn't pay their child support well you don't have to deal with that either yeah you're not getting any money in that month but the child support agency will take their license put them in jail and most of the time people don't want to go to jail and they don't want to lose their license so guess what they do they pay the motherfucking child support and then you got the other cases where people would rather spend most of their time in jail and drive without license and everything else and they just don't give a fuck. But you know what? If you're not doing that, and you're on Facebook or whatever, crying and whining, I ain't got no money for Christmas this year. Well, what happened to all that months that you didn't get no child support because you didn't go file for it? You know, child support is good and it sucks. It sucks for the people that have to pay it, and it's good for the people that get it. You know why? Because if you didn't fucking put your dick in a fucking vagina or put your vagina on a fucking dick, there would be no kid to pay child support for. So, if I was you, I'd stick to sucking and swallowing if you don't want any fucking kids. Just saying. People that fuck have kids. Do you know why? Because they don't buy these things called fucking condoms. And then you get birth control. Oh, I'm on birth control. Mm, that shit don't always fucking work, home skillet. Yeah, and people lie, too. But, you know, I don't have that problem. But a lot of you do. Like I said, no filter. And I don't give a fuck. And my video will probably get fucking flagged for dicks and penises being in it. Not physically, but talked about. Um, my advice to you... If you have a baby mom or a baby dad and they don't take care of their kids other than a couple of fucking days out of a whole fucking year or month, go get child support. If they're paying you, if they are giving you a few dollars here and there, no. Go put it on the record. Go down to child support agency where everything can be noted of what they're doing. It'll... It can save for a lot of grief in the long run. If somebody takes somebody to court, they can say, Oh, I've been paying child support. Right right here it is. I've been paying. Because I'm going to tell you how this works. i paid child support for a lot of years. And um, if you're paying your baby mom or your baby dad some support with cash to their face, hand-to-hand, um, and that person will decide to take you 
to court for a divorce or um, for whatever, that doesn't count. Even if the other person agrees. Yeah, he's been paying me, yeah. Or she's been paying me, yeah. Whatever. It don't count. It's a gift. It's a fucking gift. So, my advice to you is go down to the child support office. And my other advice to you is stop fucking whining. If you're not willing to change the situation, stop fucking whining. Most of you know that you shouldn't have laid down with that woman or that dude. It's your fault anyway. I'm not going to mention any names, but I know a few people that have a few kids by a few different fucking people. And, wow, they buy some fucking diapers here and there. Okay, are you doing the fucking dishes? Are you doing your kids' laundry? Are you changing them diapers? Et cetera, et cetera. Are you cooking? Are you cooking their dinner? Are you cleaning up their throw up when they get sick? Are you wiping their ass when they go poop? Are you bathing them? No. The other person is. I haven't made a video in a long time, so this is coming. But, um, you know, I can't say that I take care of my kids 100% because I don't. I have help. That is my wife. We do it together. She gets just as much credit as, as I do. But we both go to work. You know who pays Santa Claus? We do. Not welfare. Do you know who uh, pays for our food? We do. Not welfare. I wish I got fucking food stamps. But I don't. I don't need them. I don't want them. Um, you know who pays daycare? We do. Do you know how much daycare costs? Those of you who aren't on welfare... A lot. It costs a lot. And uh, I'm not talking $100 a lot. I'm talking four, five $500 a lot. Okay? Plus, my son's in school. So then I have school fees and I have crayons and markers and school clothes and backpacks and shoes and socks and jeans and school trips and lunches to pay for and... Whatever the school sends home and says, hey, we need five bucks for this because we're going to do this next week. Five bucks here, five bucks there, and it adds up. Don't sound like a lot, but it adds up. So, you know who pays for that? Me. I do. My wife does. Nobody else. So, my advice to you is change your own fucking situation or shut the fuck up. Quit fucking whining, because I'm tired of seeing people fucking whining on fucking Facebook all the damn time. Whine, 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 whine. Okay? That ends my fucking video. Have a good fucking day, and a happy fucking Thanksgiving. Get them kids some fucking turkey. See you later, bitches.